So tell me, why are you here today? My ad spend is uh, expensive now. I suddenly was getting leads at a really good price. I thought mm -hmm. I can't keep selling. I'm, I'm negative. Mm -hmm. It's just not working. So it sounds like your leads and your sales are just too expensive right now. Yeah. Have you tried fixing this before? Like, have you done something else in the past? Yeah, it just nothing ever panned out. It just feels like the world is shutting down on me. Do you want to know why it's not working for you? Yeah. You just can't spend more than $10, $15 to acquire a lead, right? Sounds like you have an acquisition problem. It's not so much the ad manager. It's not Facebook. It's not Google. It's really the fact that you just can't spend more than $10 to $15. What if you could spend up to $200 per lead and just have it rain leads all day long? Would that fix things? Yeah, that would be awesome. Well, there's a caveat here. Are you good at what you do? Hey there, everybody. My name is Ben Moot, and I'm a funnel hacker, which means I like to look and see what has worked in the past. If you like this strategy and you want to see a lot more, there are books and databases of them. Just click on the first link below in the description, and I'll have you taken care of. This is how you sell high ticket, and there is no better example than Alex Hormozy. Alex Hormozy built an amazing business called Gym Launch with his wife, Layla Hormozy, and they both put together a system that generated eight figures in 10 months. Let me spell that out for you. In the first month, they made $200,000. Within seven months, they were bringing in over $1.5 million every single month. 11 months in, just four months later, they were bringing in $2.2 million every single month. Two and a half years in, they had brought in over $92 million. This is high ticket. And this is how you do high ticket right. Some of you are looking to do this for B2B. Others of you are looking to do this for B2C. It doesn't really matter with this strategy. Just understand, we're going to cover B2C, but there's a couple of variables you just have to build into B2C that you don't have to in B2B. So even if you're in B2B, this will work for you. Alex actually said, quote, you have so much room for error that acquisition costs are basically irrelevant. Yeah, <laughs> who wouldn't want one of those funnels? As of this moment, they have moved on. Alex and Layla are now buying and selling companies, building a massive portfolio, and they both have amazing YouTube channels. I would highly recommend checking those out. Honestly, you could just get lost in how amazing they are. No joke. In order to do this hack justice, I went and watched every video that they had from Funnel Hacking Live. Then I went and saw the interviews that they had done online, including the videos that they are doing right now. But this is how they built their high ticket funnel. So I'm going to take you through the strategy, show you how the funnel works. Then we're going to break down how you can model this same strategy for yourself. Now the gym launch funnel is not complicated. It is a maximum three steps. Okay. The very first step is an opt-in page. If you even choose to advertise it, sometimes they don't. Then after the opt-in page, you have an application page, which is riddled with testimonials, followed by schedule your call. Once you schedule that slot into their calendar, you're put into their Facebook group. It's a very simple funnel, but there's massive amounts of strategy that goes into it. I want to break this down and then I want to show you how you can build an offer that works as well as this one. Now they had, as Alex likes to put it, a confluence of variables that helped them out. Two of them being number one, they were one of the first people on Facebook doing this and advertising in the gym guru space. Number two, there weren't a lot of gurus out there. So they had their voice and they were able to blow this up. Now, check out these ads because they speak a lot about how you make this work. For instance, watch how many video ads there are. Very interesting. You do everything you can to decrease the cost per lead. Video ads really help them with this strategy. So you have this video and at the very top it says 171 signups at $500. And you've got a video of a kickboxing area. Time for change. This had 254,000 views. Gym owners want to have classes like this. These were all from the process we ran. This gym actually signed up 171 customers at $500 a head on its first try with our system. See how we did it with the link here, okay? And you can see the copy is extremely well built. It's not complicated. It just works. 1.1 thousand reactions. This was scaled. They made this sucker work. Now, a couple of other examples. 
Number two, 191 signups in 19 days. Now, this was a really cool story. If you ever find this ad, I highly recommend you watch it. Alex walks into a client who's like, yeah, I want you to do this for me. He walks in, this place is like an apartment in the ghetto. And he's like, oh my gosh, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. A couple days later, 191 signups in 19 days. Same price point, $500 a head. You can make this work no matter what. No matter what your studio is, no matter what your location is, it's just maximum proof, okay? So $95,309 in new clients in 191 days in the hood. This is my second gym launch ever. I slept in motels for eight straight months testing my gym launch process out in different markets while my six gyms ran themselves back home. And this was a documentation to remind myself that it is never about the environment, it's about your conviction. What is this doing to the customer? A customer reads through this, what are they saying? This is gonna work for me no matter what. Oh, I have to have conviction. What does that do for high ticket? It automatically sells high ticket. It's an obvious offer. It's had over 900 likes, scaled as well. Another video ad, this one's 153,000 views. Look at the this, gym owner extraordinaires. Are you making profit you want from your gym? If not, download the case study and apply on the next page. Okay, you got the quiz. This one has 800 likes. Now you're gonna see the likes keep going down. I just organized these accordingly. Now we have an actual image. So yay, we're getting some difference. Gym owners, 30 day scale. So we got the team here. They had a team of 40 when they got to eight figures in those 10 months. So they had a team of about 40 people just making this work. Looking for gym owners who want to scale up in the next 30 days. If you're looking to scale your gym and go to the next level by getting more clients who are willing to pay you higher fees, I mean what you're really worth, then read on. Ask, excellent ad, wonderful. Next, we're gonna keep going down. Here's another one. This is from an event that he did of his high ticket. You're gonna see a couple of these here in a minute. Fun image, gets a lot of attention, 300 reactions. Not crazy on like how much they scaled this, but there are multiple versions of these ads, guys. I chose these up for a reason. So, looking for gym owners who wanna scale up in the next 30 days. We've seen this copy before. Sometimes you don't have to create brand new copy. A new creative, a new image will do it for you. You don't have to create a brand new ad. New creative. Another video, I think we've seen this one before. It's named exactly the same time for a change, 127,000 views. Gym owners, wouldn't be cool if a guru got on the phone with his clients every single day to strategize and troubleshoot none of this weekly or monthly crap, <laughs> okay? Really cool strategy here. They're talking about, they're just throwing rocks at the industry. All these people do this and that. You don't need it. We got you taken care of. Really clean. Step one, step two, step three, do the following. This one had over 600 reactions. Now another video ad. This one has over 900 views. This one's actually a testimonial. So attention gym owners, give the link right away. And then a quote, I remember the call with Alex. I had a thousand left in the bank account and my 4,500 rent was due in a week. This is a really cool testimonial. I absolutely love that they turned this into an ad. This one has over 400 reactions. Very nice, very clean. We've seen an ad like this one too. 278 new signups at $499. And they got the animation of a fire underneath and they've got people working out in the gym. Gym owners wanna know how David Dunham was able to fill his gym without using cash on hand. Here's the secret, okay? Got the full strategy, they teach it there. They tell you to go sign up, 400 reactions. There's a whole bunch of ads here. We're gonna go a little bit quicker, okay? So here's another video ad with him talking before he had the mustache. Man, he has a stash. Fill your own gym in 30 days for reels, okay? Very nice and clean ad. We've got this one. This is a picture of him and his wife, Layla. Now he's sporting the mustache. That's the man we like to see. Okay, this is just an image. Nice and clean. Gym owners, a new business category is born. My name is Alex Ramosi and this is my wife, Layla. We own and operate a company called Gym Launch. Okay, and they're gonna talk about their success, have you just go and opt in, 300 reactions. This one I love, they're actually all making fun of the stash. <laughs> it's fun, so they did an event and they all got the stash and they all took a picture. And what does that do for your ads? It makes people stop and look. Sometimes have fun. You never know what you're gonna get. Turn it into an ad. Maybe it's gonna be a million dollar maker. Maybe it's not, okay? Great, now this is the funnel it's pointing to. I told you this was simple. You don't need upsells, you don't need sales. This is a simple funnel. 
Simple funnel. Here we go. This is the page. White background. You got this box in the middle that says, we only work with gym owners who can take on 50 plus new customers right now. Why do they do that? They need to limit the amount of people who are coming in their door. If you just start inviting everybody in, you're going to have calls with people who are unqualified. How do you qualify somebody? Number one, messaging. Number two, messaging. Number three, messaging. Number four, application. Okay. We've seen the messaging that are in the ads. Now there's other messaging that they're doing. They have a podcast going this entire time. They had YouTube channel going. They have all these other things going on. Okay. So it wasn't just ads. It's just one of the ways that they got people in the door. Okay. And they sent to this funnel. So number one, they have all the messaging out there in the ether that's connecting the right person. And then number two, they qualify them with the following steps including this headline. Before you apply, let us send you a case study for how we brought 187 new clients to a gym in San Diego. Notice they didn't choose their highest number of clients. They chose something that was reachable. Something somebody go, yeah, okay, that's, that's more normal. They didn't go for the 300. They didn't go for like 500. They just said, no, 187. It just works, okay? Focus on a number that's realistic. If you focus way out there, you're going to just lose people who don't believe it's there. Lower the threshold. Even though, yes, you've done it, sometimes it's smart to lower that back down. Okay. Now, download your case study now button. You've got all your normal stuff, terms of service, blah, 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 blah. You click on the button, the pop-up shows up. Where should we send your case study? First name, last name, email, send the case study here. You go to the next page. Check out this page. This is this would be so easy to build in any page builder ever. Okay, they have a woofoo form on the left and on the right, they have a testimonial from Russell Brunson, okay, the creator of ClickFunnels. So you fill in your application. Now notice the questions here. The questions are where the power is. So name, cell phone, email, we got all that, okay. Skype ID, important if you want to actually talk to people, but you know, phone doesn't work. How many people are actually coming to your gym? What is your EFT price? Okay, this is things that gyms should know. They don't know it, probably not their customer. See the qualification, watch the qualification. It's all in the application and questions. It's just done well. Tell us about what you offer. What is the minimum amount of customers you will be able to have per session? Just numbers that you need to know in order to scale a business. Be like, ah, your numbers are off. They're understanding the business better than the customer. They want to make sure they take care of you. So you're not just going to get this one lead gen thing. They're going to make sure you maximize your revenue on all pieces. I love this. Okay. What is your role? Have you been referred? By the way, 50% of their customers were referred. They were referred. Why? And I, I, no, we'll get there in a minute. Watch this. This funnel is genius. Okay. So then you submit. Okay. You get the name of the franchise and other details. Now you've got testimonials. This is why it works. This is why it works. Now, this is for a warm customer. They've been warmed up in the ads and all this stuff. This is what they're getting. Okay, you see the testimonials? Do you see it? I'm going to be honest, it just keeps going. This does just it doesn't stop. There is testimonials on testimonials on purpose. Now, each of these are cultivated on purpose. They're not just random testimonials. These are testimonials with numbers that are high, some numbers that are in the middle, and then some numbers that are, you know, some stories that really resonate with somebody who's just getting started. These are hand-picked. And the way that their screenshots are taken, they're taken on mobile screens. If you see the Facebook ads, there are the Facebook comments, they're on mobile screens. Why? Because when you're on your mobile phone, you want to be able to see something you would normally see on your phone. You automatically borrow that goodwill from the platform. Just super smart. Okay. There's so many things that are going on here that are just brilliant. Now, when you actually do submit the application, you go to the schedule page. Now, the schedule page, Nothing crazy. This is just schedule once popped into another ClickFunnels page. And this one has your opt-in. You put in your name and email, and then you make sure you schedule a time with somebody. And then upon scheduling, where do they send you? They send you to their Facebook group. This image was taken a little while ago. So if you actually look at it, it's got about 6,000 members. Yeah, look at it today. Don't just do a quick search. It's much bigger. Okay. They scaled this thing. It just kept working. There's nothing complicated about it. At this point, the customer gets on the call with a sales rep. The sales rep goes over, make sure that they're absolutely qualified, make sure they're ready to take action and sells them. And the product is this a thousand dollars today. Then you have 14 days where you don't have to pay anything. It's just going to be ad costs followed by 15 additional weekly payments 
of $1,000. All in all, a $16,000. And they were so good at this system that the average customer was making $27,000 in their first 30 days. The average, that means 50% were making more than that. <laughs> okay, huge numbers. They were doing so well. You know why their referral business was 50%. Now, I'm gonna be honest, they did have a different funnel. Different funnel, just, just a little tweak for people who are really cold, okay? And it's actually idontlikemoney.com, okay? Now they've changed the URL so it doesn't forward to this page anymore. I actually go had to do a little bit of hacking, but check out this page. This is really interesting for cold audiences. Get the gym launch system gym owners all over have been talking about, okay? You can apply for the system, you scroll down. They've got testimonials, okay, with their names, then a button. Testimonials and a button, testimonials and a button. These testimonials, by the way, if you thought the last page was big, this is big, okay? I wanna keep going. This is just, it's, it's huge. It just, it's massive. It actually took multiple screenshots, so here's the other page. It actually keeps going over here. Uh, you scroll down, it just keeps going until you reach the bottom, and the bottom says, ah, we're gonna get there. <laughs> you made it. Apply for the gym launch owners today. This is what you're gonna do. You're gonna schedule on this page. It's just a screenshot. And then when you click on the button, there's a pop-up. Exact same schedule that we saw in the past. Sends to the Facebook page, all the same. So we're gonna adjust the funnel map just a little bit because they did control. If it was a cold audience, they made a different type of virtual sales room. Now, if you were gonna sell somebody, and they taught this, if you're gonna sell somebody inside of your gym, you needed a sale room. And inside of that sale room, you had testimonials plastered all over the walls. Everywhere there were testimonials with pictures, with Yelp ratings, just everywhere. Why? Because when somebody walks into that, what do they see? They see people, they'll find someone who looks like them. They'll find a testimonial that really resonates. Just leave them in there for a little minute. And then when you come in, what are they seeing? This has worked for so many people. I just might be an idiot if I said, no, this might not work for me. That's exactly what these pages are. Just testimonial rushes. They're virtual sales rooms. And I love this. Layla talked about this at Funnel Hacking Lab 2018. Sales is a choreographed event. And if you didn't choreograph it right, a lack of sales is all your fault. Notice how they're choreographing. Notice how they're putting all of these pieces together and how it all works together. Now, it's a simple funnel. You got lots of ads. Now, let's go over their numbers really quick because, yeah, it's nice to see the funnel, but what are the numbers? How does that actually flow through the funnel? <laughs> you ask good questions. Let's check it out. Now, I've linked all the public videos that I researched down below in the description, so if you guys wanna go and see this in more detail, he does go into it in much more detail. I have that link down there for you. There's so much gold that he just drips online. Check out their channel. Now, Alex has actually taken this strategy and moved it outside of just Gym Watch. Gym Watch, they said, you know what, we're not, traditionally you would run a boot camp for $99 a month and you would have a break even funnel. You just get somebody in the door, you wouldn't make a lot of money. They moved it to a free six week challenge, charged $500 to, able to participate in said challenge. They got a 30 to one upfront ROI. That's not including payments after the fact, 30 to one ROI ridiculous. Now they actually took this and they moved it into the agency system. Now in an agency, usually you charge by retainer, $1,500 per month. Sounds about right, right? So if I do all my ad spend right, usually the way it works is I have a negative ROI in the first month. They, the customer has to be around for at least two months for me to break even. So if I spend $1,000 on ads, I'm only going to make $500 back. Does that make sense? Okay. However, they upgraded the offer. They followed the same idea. So pay attention to how they do this. Now, instead of charging a retainer, they only charge you when, some, when they get you a lead. When they get somebody who walks through the door, you're charged for that person, okay? And then the setup for the system is $39.97. The take rate is so much higher. The profitability is so much higher that now they have 11 to one upfront ROI. They just changed their upfront strategy, which is key inside of your agency. And this is how you kill it. Now, the gym launch funnel that they were running is the exact same funnel 
extremely similar. It's the exact same format, the exact same type that they were running for their actual gyms. So when you joined, it's the same system. Now, can you do it yourself? Sure. This is why we funnel hack. But at the same time, could you do it with help and get better results, especially with that kind of an ROI? Yeah, check out Gym Launch if you're a gym, please. These are the stats that they got for gyms. And this is actually for his personal gyms when he proved all this out. He proved this out for years. He had six of his own personal gyms. Um, then he went around the country for eight months with he and his wife, Layla, proving this out before they sold it. A lot of you are like, I'm just gonna raise the price on my product. Why don't you do that? Because the reason this works is because it, <laughs> it helps people so well. Because it helps people so well, it works extremely well. Please make your product the best it can be before going high ticket, or else we're gonna give high ticket a bad name. Go the extra mile, take care of your customers, and charge them what it's worth, sure. But go the extra mile. Now these are the stats for what he built himself. Same type of funnel. The cost per lead was about four to eight dollars. 50% would schedule an appointment. 50% of those people would actually show up. Of those, 50 to 75% would actually buy. Kind of depends on the salesman, the person who's on the call. Okay, it's worth paying for a good salesman, by the way. Make sure you know everything about this sales script, by the way. The whole reason this works when you start to scale is once again, they had a team of 40, okay, in their first 10 months. Okay, the reason that they had it's working so well is because they had a sales script and it was down to the T. They knew what jokes they were going to throw in, when they were going to say those jokes, how they make the entrance, the direction they walk around the facility, how many minutes they leave them in the sales room, what do they say exactly when they get in the sales room. Okay, they had everything scripted out specifically for their in office. So they had everything scripted out just nearly as well for their actual virtual office. And when those costs got low, they would just run daily trainings to the team to help support, to bolster that number, to help it grow. Invest in your salespeople and pay your salespeople well. They'll do a good job for you. So they did that. They closed about 13 to 20%. Those people walked in the door. That was their $500 program. That means in this particular funnel, they spent $50 to get somebody to pay 500. Man, oh man, are these numbers good. This is what happens when you can get everything aligned just right. And what I wanna go over with you really quick is how they got the sales call set up. How do they actually run the script? Because, oh my gosh, by golly, that's some gold right there. But you need to, number one, make sure your offer is upgraded. Make sure that offer actually takes care of the customer so that way they get massive results. Don't care about the price point. You can figure out the price point later. Serve your customer at the highest possible level. What does that look like in order to guarantee them results? Create that offering. Make it attractive for them. Sure, it can be $16,000. Pile it on. They can charge $1,000 per week, okay? There's a lot of flexibility on how you structure all of this, okay? But make a good product, okay? Let's give High Ticket a good name. And let me show you how you sell it with a sales script. This is kind of tricky. If you actually watch the intro again, it is the script. Okay, this is the closer script. C-L-O-S-E-R. The first thing you're gonna do is clarify why they opted in and why they show up. So you ask, so why are you here today? Why did you opt in? Why did you schedule this call with me? Okay, got it? The second step is you just label that problem that they're having. So you're having an issue with your costs on your ad spend. You're having an issue with your cost for your leads and your sales. Is that right? Yes. Notice, always ask those questions, are you right? Make sure they say yes. Have their head nodding this way the entire time on the sales call, and when you get to the pitch, it's gonna be really hard for them to go like that, okay? Absolute genius. Keep going down after you label it, then go an overview of their pains and problems. So you ask, so have you done this in the past before? The idea is to just open up old wounds. Oh yeah, I tried that once. Oh, tell me about that. How did that go? What didn't work? Oh, we tried this and it didn't work. It was a mastermind that you said? Yeah. Oof. You're in a mastermind now? Yeah, so if you're in a mastermind, then why are you here? It's just not working. 
Oh, so the mastermind's not working for you. All right, understood. Got it, we can help you there. So then, have you done this yourself? Have you ever thought of doing it yourself? And why do you ask that? Because more than likely, everyone will be watching this and like, yeah, I don't need to pay that, I'm gonna do it myself. So you ask, have you done it for yourself? Yeah, I, I've tried, all right. How did that work? Uh, the results were really varied. I just, I couldn't stay to it. I couldn't stick to it, I couldn't, whatever their response is. You go, all right, so that doesn't work. What have you done? You've told them that what they've done in the past doesn't work and you've solidified that. You've stamped that into their subconscious and into the statement and the logic of moving forward. Next, with S, you sell the vacation. Now, a lot of us are really proud of the high ticket we've created, so you're gonna to wanna to sell. Look, we're gonna do this, step number one, step number two, step number three, step number four, and you have like a list of things for them to do. Don't do that. Your job, according to Alex and Layla from Funnel Hacking Live 2018, and this is gold, is to sell the vacation, not the TSA checklist. Okay, sell the vacation, not the entire trip, because you and I both know the trip is smelly. The trip is gonna be stinky. Your job is to sell the vacation itself. What does it look like when they get to that point? So the question can go something like this. Do you wanna know why that isn't working for you? Then you state your angle. It's not working for you because, how do you guys do it? Well, we do it this way. It's different than the niche. And because we do it this way, it helps us overcome these hurdles including the hurdle that was listed by the customer. You craft it around what that customer said their problems were. Often you're gonna have a lot of the customers with the same problems, but every once in a while you have a random one, craft it in, work it in, good salespeople, okay? When you craft that in, you're gonna make sure to state, well, this is what we do that's different than the niche. This is how it helps you overcome these pain points. Sell the vacation, got it? The next step is to explain away their concerns. How do you explain those away? So what, what concerns would you have about getting started today? And they'll go through the gambit of excuses. Well, um, I have a higher authority that I, I just can't, I can't make the decision without that individual or person or something like that. Well, you know, my, I'm not really liquid right now in my cash. Um, you know, I'm not, I don't know if I'm quite ready. I haven't used all my resources over here yet. What is your job? Explain those away wherever you can. There's gonna be a hard rock, and if there is a hard rock, you need to get that person on the phone, you need to make sure that that's taken care of, period. Make sure you sell well. But at the same time, make sure you sell. <laughs> Don't cut yourself short, okay? Make sure that you explain that away. What if we got you that result? What if you're actually able to do this? What would that do to that problem? We can get you started on that tomorrow, or today, the next hour. Does that sound good? Yeah, I mean, that sounds good, yeah. All right, sounds like you're a little hesitant. What else is on your mind? And you just hit each one, boom, boom. Take care of every single issue. The last step here, reinforce the decision. Now, once they make that decision, you have to reinforce it. In the first 48 hours is the highest likelihood of somebody actually refunding. So what do you do for the first 48 hours? You don't disconnect with them. You don't stop talking to them. You take them by the hand. You show them the entire process, you show them how it works, you give them the best experience possible, at least for the next 48 hours, if not longer. It's a high ticket product, craft something amazing, but give them something that's worthwhile. Someone is gonna be sold. The question is, are you gonna sell them on your conviction or are they gonna sell you on their excuses? So what I want you to do is if you're thinking about high ticket, I need you to craft the best offer you can that would guarantee that result. Make it as shiny and as glorious and give all your heart in there, okay? It's gonna be extremely valuable because what do you do with it once you create it? Well, I'll tell you what Alex and Layla Hormozzi did. They traveled around the country for eight months, living in extended stay hotels and proved it out to customers for free. Why? Why would you do that? You hear the story of eight figures in 10 months, but what you don't know is the amount of time that they spent proving the offer. Why? So that when they sold somebody, there was no hesitation, no question, no concern. They knew it worked. Because one way or another, in a high ticket call, someone is going to be sold, according to Layla Hormozzi. High ticket lives and dies by two things. Number one, the person selling them on the phone and their conviction. Number two, the quality of the product. Do well in both. 
If you guys liked this video at all, make sure to check out the other videos, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and if nothing else, click on the link below. Go and check out the other places where we go and break down other strategies. We have high ticket funnels that we break down, mid ticket, low ticket, all of the above. You go and see what works for you. And I hope to see you in the next video.